We have Iggy here, of course. Uh, then we have uh, the great Iggy Pop. Mr. Ron Ashton, one of the greatest rock and roll guitarists in the world. And Mr. Scott Ashton, one of the greatest drummers as well. Together, Iggy and the Stoogies. Uh, now, now, guys, what a, what a history you've had. Just uh, talk us through it a bit if we can. When did the Stooges, you guys, first get together? When did you first start playing? Uh, and then when did you split up? And then when did you get back together? And then when did you split up? And why did you split up? And when did you get back together again? It's a long time ago, and then there was a break. Then we started back up, and now we're together. 67, we, we decided to do it, and it took a year of just f***ing around, and people like going, no, don't do that, you know, and then we... So people weren't immediately thinking this is a great rock and roll band, you didn't immediately find it. No, your they were embarrassed for us, and then, uh, <laughs> and then they went, we, we took up a, a notch, they hated us. Yeah. We played in 68, a lot of people hated it, and other people were going like, oh, that's pretty cool, you know. They kept coming. And then uh, by 69, we, we got a record. So you kind of uh, wore them out, really, then? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, we kept at it, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, and how was the music when you first started? Was it the same sort of music that you played today? I mean, mm. what, what kind of a, a racket did you make early on? It was trancey and trancey and spooky and kind of like those, like These if bubbles. those bubbles were on a, bu a big raft of Delaw did or something. <laughs> it was like moody, so, so bubbly. Like, but noisy, I guess, quite a big sound. Just you know, noise. Yeah. yeah Actually, we invented noisy. our own instruments. What kind like of instruments? Blenders with water in them. Uh, vacuum cleaners. Vacuum cleaners. Air washboards with yeah. contact mic and golf shoes. And people didn't like this at first? Some people, <laughs> yeah. Well, you got some people liked it and some people went, well, yeah. that's not proper music <laughs> sort of thing. You know, I've worked so hard to be a piece of wanking shit and here this you know, <laughs> monkey this monkey this Iggy, Iggy, monkey calm down calm down this is a long time ago right? I'm they love you it. now no, no, it's like, okay but we've got over that hump it's okay right? <laughs> and so what happened to you guys because you were just about kind of getting known and people were getting excited about your noise and then and then it ended so what was it were you disagreeing was it because of substance abuse was Ask it just him. Because... <laughs> well I, I had become unsound you know like Colonel Kurtz in Apocalypse. Now. So you'd gone a little bit crazy. Yeah, you know, I mean, it was a real strain, sort of, for me, just mentally, just lifting the whole thing up to where it got. And, and you know, there's some people, the people who liked us really never talked about it until we broke up. And then they all said, oh, I was there, you know, and blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah. So It's that guy again who you didn't like. Just, and I just <laughs> sort of went out. Let, let me run this story past you. I heard you went down once, the band are playing behind you, and you started dancing in front of a beautiful lady. And the band are still churning away behind you, really keeping it tight behind you. And then the beautiful lady had a, a, a male friend with her who wasn't particularly pleased to see you dancing with her, and he punched you and knocked you out. This is what I heard. No, that guy was, uh, he was uh, in a biker gang, and it, 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 he was uh, a young uh, thug at, in training, and his initiation to the gang was to throw an egg at me. The egg Iggy Pop, so it, there was no chick. Okay. He just started egging me, and I was wearing like this little ballet costume, but I still wanted to defend my honor. So yeah. I said, Hold <laughs> on, let's just stop everything right here. So let's you stopped see. the gig? I stopped the gig. Let's see this guy. Come on, mother <laughs> you know, and, and he just like. The crowd parted. Yeah. But you, you, you seem to invite that kind of, uh, not deliberately invited, but you seem to create that kind of thing on, on a regular basis. Used to. But not just that kind of business. I mean, the fact that I would have thought, and we know that the rock and roll is, is, you know, the place where a lot of people enjoy excessive behavior. They enjoy mind-altering substances. They like to push themselves in that way. Mm -hmm. And you kind of really did push the butter. You, you, can I ask you, and we're not doing this in a way to try and encourage youngsters, but certainly, historically, I believe this is of interest. What kind of substances would you have uh, absorbed when you were pursuing well, these kind of highs? it started on marijuana and then it moved up to a gaseous substance called DMT. So if you <laughs> inhale it, when you, when you exhale, uh, you, you'll go to the moon for 15 minutes. It's stronger. Than, and then there was LSD and then that wasn't strong enough so there was something called STP. And uh, when we had STP, he had to lead me. We were in New York and I didn't know enough to stop at the stoplights or stay out of traffic. So you were walking into the Your room. high three days. I tied a he belt. Had to tie a he had a leash. I had me. to leash him around Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> let, 
me ask you about another thing I heard about you, Gad, if it's true, is that once, uh, in an effort to try and get yourself high, you, you electrocuted yourself. Well, no, I went home, we were all, we were all like, we have a guy and then you get high on it. I said, well, I read that you could get high, like, with electroshock. <laughs> and so, so I had a, this old Lionel, my Lionel train set had a transformer okay. on it. So, I tried. so you gave yourself electric shock? Yeah. <laughs> and, and did it work? I tried to smoke spider webs that night, too. Now, hang on, what's that? You tried to smoke a spider Spider webs. I, we, I went down and got spider webs. Why would you smoke a spider web? Well, it seemed high. like you might get high. <laughs> Who told, where did you, did we just make that up? Oh, you heard that from somewhere. Oh, all the rumors that go around for uh, different okay. things that might work. So you did, you did smoke a spider web? Yeah. And, and did it, it get it you just high? got a headache and also from the electroshock. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't do that. Why are you doing that? Stop it. That was a weird house. We lived in the, it was a gothic farmhouse with no furniture. And you no lived together? All of it? Yeah, that, that was a bad one. We had about three or four. That one wasn't good. Okay dead cornfields all around and mm, we didn't have a gig. There was know. a serial killer on the loose and the seventh body was dumped about a hundred yards yeah. down from our house. <laughs> I thought, for sure we're going to get in trouble. And I was actually called down to the police station to uh, talk to them because I was at the place where the, the woman was kidnapped that night and someone re remembered my face. So I went, what? And that's a nightmare thinking that you're going to be they're going to accuse you of being a serial killer. And even worse, you then go home to a bloke who's smoking spider webs yeah. and giving himself electric shock, saying, how'd it go down to the police it station? Was nice <laughs> the police station. Uh, you, well, now, why are you guys back together? What's happened? Why did you decide it was time to get back together? Because uh, you've had great success as a solo artist. You guys have worked with many other talent musicians. Yeah, there must be something about you working together that you like. Is it just oh, because yes. you, you know each other when you were kids, or what is it? That's a, a part of it, because we birthed this band. And uh, as Iggy said, he, he ran out of ideas, and yeah. it was the perfect time. It just happened to be the right time. We were offered, uh, he called up and says, hey, I got a project. Are you interested in a project? I'm going, yeah. He said, you can, well, you can have two weeks. To say, you can say no now. Tell me no or yes in two weeks. And yeah, let's do it. So it was going down, which became uh, to Florida to make a, what became Skull Ring. So we did, was supposed to be two songs, wound up being four. Then all of a sudden, phone starts ringing. He want to play the job, played Coachella. Then uh, people seemed to like it. And then Iggy said, hey, how would you like to do some more shows? And the rest is history. The public. It, yeah, but you know, it, was it ever a worry that you think, okay, we're putting back together a band, which has become a legendary band, and a lot of people who, who love your music and love the albums will never have seen you live, and suddenly you've got to get out there and you've got to deliver. Were you concerned that you, you wouldn't live up to expectations? No, I wasn't. Not me. <laughs> no, but but maybe to their to their warped expectation. But we've never liked or respected other people. <laughs> we still don't really. We try to be nice. We we have a policy yeah. that each of us is an individual. Yeah. But inside, we think everybody's full of shit. <laughs> and I always thought. And you, now you just see the same people. They have a new head and some new clothes, <laughs> yeah. but it's the same guy I met 40 years ago. Yeah. You Who you know? didn't like then, why should you, you like, like him now? like him then, don't like him now, you know? Now you guys, you must be enjoying, I would have thought, a kind of uh, a respect that you, you haven't had before in your career, would I be right? Yeah, Absolutely. I enjoy that. Yeah, and respect from your peers, that must be a good feeling. And, and yeah, and you it see is people enjoy feeling. the music, you can tell. Yeah, it, yeah. It, I enjoy it myself, you know? It is a great feeling to see them enjoy it, play catch up if you will. Yeah. It's also nice to own my first new car in my life. Hold it, hold it. This is the first time you've had a new car in your life? Yeah. Uh, well, how old are you now, if you don't mind me pointing? 183. <laughs> 158. Yes. Yeah. But this is a proper car. It's not like a mobility scooter or something Well, like yes, that. it's you not actually... like a 61 Cadillac with rust all over uh, it. No. Everything has been used. It's a proper modern car. But yes, a proper, my first new car. So you see, stick with the band. It so can't yeah, pay it off. It only took 40 years, yeah. but I got a new car. <laughs> Can you still hurl yourself around on stage? Can you still do that bending over backwards and... I can't bend over backwards. I can hurl. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I mean, if I want to get hurt, then the band's going to pay. So, I think... So you take it more yeah, easy? Yeah, I think like I broke some glass on stage last yeah, night. And, I was and, scared. And somebody cleaned it up. <laughs> you know, so because in the old days you would have probably. Well, I saw him rolling, and I didn't know it already been cleaned up. I'm going, no, I'm not going to look. No, <laughs> right. uh, no. I mean, you just you just do what you do. You know, it's music. You just try to do what you feel, 
and if you don't feel anything, you should get the f out, you know? But you know, that's a great attitude to have, because a lot of people get back together and they go and tour because they just want to, you know, finally maybe get paid for their legacy. And I get the feeling that isn't the case. We do have guys. fun playing. Yeah. It's good to so. get paid. Yeah, Pays we're not denying good that. Us. Good. Uh, but it's not just about the money, is what I, I feel like. We I'm enjoy to getting together and, and hanging around with each other. Yeah. For me, before we got back together, I would only see my brother maybe twice a year, once at Christmas and one time in the summer. So it's great now to be able to hang out, catch up. Yeah, well, well what was wrong with you? Why didn't you just give him a call? He, uh, uh, I don't know. I'll be honest with you, it's a, it started as quite a touching story. Now it I makes could you never seem get like a, to him. Now I... it makes you seem a bit lazy. And... and that too, but... Don't you think so? You just get on your bike I and I never thought about it. No, I can't ride my bike all the way Can to I be Florida with you? from Michigan. I, I thought he was being quiet, but now I realise why. He's, he hates he, me. He doesn't understand why, why you never called him all those years. He never called me either. Yeah, he's sitting there. He's still furious at you. I can sense the waves that's simmering inside. Get on. Give him a brotherly hug. Go on. Let's see. That's a lovely moment, and that? That's a lovely moment. There you go. Thank you. Oh, yeah. man. Uh, you're, now, you're going to be performing live for us, which is uh, fantastic news. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to do one of your old numbers, aren't you? Yeah. Which one are you going to do? I want to be your dog. Ah, oh, this is just uh, this is a great moment. I love Iggy and the Stoogies. I love those first few albums, but this is just one of my favourites of all time. Cool. Gentlemen, I thank you so much. A, I thank, thank you, you for still being together. I thank you for coming on the show, and thank God you're still alive. <laughs> yeah. uh, the spider webs after the show are on me, Iggy, if you're interested. <laughs> all right. Ladies and gentlemen, Scott, Ron and Iggy. Iggy and the Stoogies. Uh, that was great. Thank you so much. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, I enjoyed the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.